Good morning. We are starting out the warmest that we have started out all week. We've got temperatures in the 60s at 63 degrees in Springfield with a few clouds and southerly winds. We're dry to start, just mostly cloudy out there this morning. Uh, temperatures are warmer by about 15 degrees warmer for most of the Ozarks. Starting out in the 60s at 68 degrees in Bentonville, 65 in Monette, and 62 degrees up at Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, if you're waiting for a package today, it will mostly be dry. We'll have some clouds. Temperatures in the middle and upper 70s. Maybe a few showers or storms possible, but the coverage will be limited. We'll have more coverage in storms overnight tonight as a line of storms develop. A flesh blood watch takes effect at midnight, goes until noon tomorrow. We also have a slight severe risk up to the north and west of the interstate for that severe threat, mainly looking at a threat of damaging winds and half dollar size hail. An isolated tornado can't be ruled out, but that threat is pretty low. Not much happening through the afternoon today, but we'll have these storms fire up after midnight and dive south and east uh, should clear up by sunrise. So again, not much happening today. Temperatures in the upper 70s around 11 o'clock. You start to find those showers and storms organizing. They push through overnight tonight. We'll have maybe a few showers left by tomorrow morning and through tomorrow afternoon as well. We'll keep a storm chance with temperatures in the 70s. So make sure you stay weather aware tonight. Damaging winds, half dollar size hail and heavy rain are going to be the main threats. Storm chance as continue through Sunday. Joe Warren. All right, thank you, Elisa. Getting out and about and being active can help your mind and your body while many of our daily activities might be restricted. Color 10's Nigel McDonald is live in Springfield to talk about a community effort to get people moving outdoors. Nigel, good morning. Well, good morning, Lauren. Whether you choose to ride your bike or just take a walk, Ozark Greenways is encouraging you to participate in Bike Walk in Will Week. Now, the nonprofit says exploring the outdoors offers a healthy physical and mental break. Springfield has more than 80 miles of on-street bike routes and 75 plus miles of trails. Mary Cromrie serves as executive director of Ozark Greenways and says she's happy to see people getting outside rain or shine. We have had a great response. Um, so far, people have been showing how they've been out exploring their neighborhood, the back alleyways, exploring new trails, going on bicycle rides out in the county. So we've been really tickled and impressed with the outpouring of support and just the enthusiasm. And even the number of folks that were doing their posts yesterday, um, going on a rainy bicycle ride or a rainy stroll through their neighborhood. Well, Cromrie says if you do participate in the event, to go ahead and take a photo of yourself being active and post it to your social media using the hashtag Ozark Greenways. Now, this event will run through this Sunday. Reporting live in Springfield, Nigel McDonald, Ozarks First. Thank you, Nigel. We need to report on some recoveries in our Missouri viewing area of the coronavirus. It's actually holding up at 76%, 25 counties that can see color 10. And in total, there are 285 confirmed cases. We reached out to the local health departments in each county, and as of yesterday, 218 people have recovered. 11 have died. Green County is the most cases at 104, the most recoveries with 85, and the most deaths with eight. Active cases in Green County went from 14 down to 11 in just the last 24 hours. The state of Missouri as a whole has over 10,000 cases and 542 deaths. In Arkansas, there are over 4,200 cases nearly 100 deaths and more than 3,200 recoveries. Taking a look around the world, New Zealand has ended most of its coronavirus lockdown restrictions as it prepares for what's ahead. Malls, retail stores and restaurants reopened today and many people returned to work. However, most gatherings will still be limited to 10 people and social distancing guidelines stay in place. More than 1,400 of the nearly 1,500 people who contracted COVID-19 in New Zealand have recovered, while 21 have died. Singapore's military has launched a mobile swab station to test for the coronavirus with the aim of keeping medical staff safe. The defense ministry says the mobile unit can be set up in 15 minutes. Singapore plans to test all 323,000 migrant workers as it wants to ease restrictions next month to restart the economy. So far, Singapore has confirmed over 25,000 cases. 
A typhoon slammed into the eastern Philippines today after authorities evacuated tens of thousands of people. Video shows fierce rain and wind rattling tin roofs and causing low visibility. Some towns lost power. The typhoon came as the Philippines tries to fight COVID-19 along with the rest of the world. Many officials face a dilemma now on how to shield villagers from the typhoon but also prevent the spread of COVID-19 with so many people sheltered together. In some news around America, another outbreak of the coronavirus, this time at a distribution center in Michigan. The Meyer Distribution Center employs more than 3,000 people and 44 have confirmed a positive test. The company says they continue to follow detailed cleaning protocols and affected employees will continue to be paid. Two of the largest brush fires in Florida take up an estimated 5,000 acres combined and have forced several evacuations. Authorities report 0% containment at either fire as helicopters continue dropping water. Blowing embers from these fires has caused several other to ignite. Multiple structures were lost or damaged. A temporary shelter has been set up. Let's take a look at what's coming up for you on CBS This Morning. Coming up, what do Americans think about President Trump's handling of the pandemic? Results of a new CBS News poll. Plus, how Korean baseball could offer a glimpse into the future of American sports. Coming up on CBS This Morning. And one trend that we have that is of the political realm there. Federal agents have taken the cell phone of U.S. Senator Richard Burr. He's a North Carolina senator, and he sold $1.7 million worth of stock back in February. People are believing this could be related to the coronavirus. Okay, so some thoughts about inside trading here. I, I did see that they had to request a warrant from Apple to get that cell phone. That's right. He's denied any wrongdoing in that. All right, Elisa, the sun is up right now. Is it going to stay up for the rest of the day? Yeah, we'll have some clouds around, maybe a few showers and storms. The bigger threat comes tonight with some damaging winds and hail possible, so you want to stay weather aware. The storm chances hang around through Sunday. Finally, that big yellow bulb comes back next week. <laughs> that one thing we don't recognize. There it is, a live look at a sunrise here in Springfield. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday. We'll see you back here at midday.